Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's start with love. Let's see what's going on for love for Sagittarius. What do we have? All right, so we have work. All right, so you could have met someone at work. They could be affecting your work. Something about maybe you thinking about this person at work. This relationship could be hard work, okay? Maybe because somebody wants money or they don't have money or um, maybe you're the breadwinner. Of, yeah, uh, you're the breadwinner in this marriage, this union. Um, this person thinks that they're marrying into money. Or you got to keep this person happy with money. Um, somebody could have married you for your money, right? Open relationship. There's also maybe you gave this person a ring or somebody gave you a ring um, to keep you in a place where uh, you were okay with this open relationship. It's like a commitment on top of an open relationship on top maybe you guys can have other partners or you have other sexual partners in the bedroom somebody makes more money at work than the other person in this marriage um and maybe that's why somebody is like i'm gonna do whatever i want to do and i'm gonna have lots of different partners somebody puts their work and their money before a relationship that they have with several different partners children somebody wants children or someone has children somebody has a lot of different baby fathers or baby mothers and those relationships are open maybe some of you are still having sexual relationship or connection with the uh, child's mothers or the child's father something about money you know money 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 um money going in so many different ways um, a new love yeah so it's like maybe somebody is wanting so this could be like a karmic connection here all right somebody's money is funny so somebody's questioning the union here somebody's like look I, I can have we can have an open relationship I still have love or likeness for you but we can have an open relationship um, somebody wants children or somebody's children is in the way or someone's like look I can't get with you having all these different children somebody wants a new love but they got so many different children with so many different women somebody has made a very karmic or toxic relationship or love life for themselves because they have spread themselves so thin somebody is childish someone acts like a child whenever they get mad they go find somebody else but they don't want the yeah somebody's quick to go find somebody else but they don't want the relationship to be over they just want you know that they're just childish they handle this in a very childish manner yeah it's like this person can be warm at times but they can be very unkind yes the answer is yes whatever the question is somebody needs to give more thanks or something happened on Thanksgiving. You need to get more thanks so that you can, if you're thankful for where you are, you can have growth. Yeah, you can have loving growth. It's like somebody wanted a new life with somebody, but they're just not able to provide that. You know, new life, new home, new baby, new car, everything. Maybe the masculine is not able to provide that. They they already have that. Somebody could be. Is that maybe you guys are separated and somebody is watching you studying you or someone's looking at somebody's behavior every time you get mad you walk out or you leave or you bring somebody else into the connection to the relationship yeah that somebody is a live wire when they're fighting they say anything i can make it up somebody's extremely immature someone could be mixed race there could be an engagement ring we talked about that someone maybe pop the question before actually getting to know this person dating this person they kind of wanted to turn this situation from friends with benefits to will you marry me 
But somebody, yeah, cuts off the relationship. They'll say, text me, don't call me because they're out doing whatever they want to do. Somebody wants more than what another person can offer. Somebody's like, I can only offer this, friends with benefits, fun times. Somebody wants a life with a, a, a particular person here. What do we have for a career in, in finance? Well, what's the advice for Sagittarius? What's the advice for Sag the King of Pentacles? Make a decision that's rational for everybody. It's like you're giving out a lot of money here. Then the Temperance card and the Empress. It's like, yeah, you got, um, it's like you're trying to keep relationships intact or keep balance in relationships. Uh, with maybe mother, mother of, or mother of your children, or somebody's trying to procreate here too to become a mother. I don't know if it's happening. Yeah, definitely trying to to manifest new life. It's it's like somebody's trying to stay in control of all these different people. So that's the that's the um, advice here. If you're a masculine energy, definitely masculine energy. Say what you have to say. Do what you have to do to maintain balance and control. Salvage relationships with mother or feminine energy. I'm keep, trying to keep everybody happy. This is the pampered princess. It's like maybe you you bought somebody or how you got them was you know flashing money or giving them things and this is how they want you to continue but the money could be low because like you your money's going out in so many different ways let's see what the financial advice is for you sad what's the financial advice for sagittarius okay the empress card start something new you know, start to give or put more energy out there. If you have an idea, bring it to fruition. This is a very creative time for you, especially if you sing or you dance or you do some something artistic. Yeah, because you can have achievement. It's like you have some short term goals, but you need to be directed and focused, maybe even a little self-centered on getting these things done. You can't be focused on everything else. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles about maybe starting something new, starting a new uh, business here it's like the universe is blessing you with the ace of pentacles the start does not determine the end you're gonna have to be committed to see this through to possibly the ten of pentacles where you'll have some long-term um stability uh, longevity but you're gonna have to be yeah, a nine of cups this is the time for you especially maybe around pisces season this season now um you need to bring something into fruition you have ideas start acting on them start moving put things together delegate be focused be strategic um be more focused on career and advancement um maybe something about a car or cars or um movement um home astrology it looks like the universe or the the stars are aligned for you right now for you to take action especially on um an independent project an idea that you have for business this is the time. Wow. Money is coming into you. A large sum of money. Or this is the time to promote yourself or your services or to ask for that raise. Or this is the time to do more independent work, to work how you want to. Yeah, initially it will be conflict before resolution, but you're going to see through every obstacle. You're going to be able to get through every obstacle, get over every obstacle. You're going to quickly come out of destitution not having enough lack or lack mentality if you take action a concerted effort if you are smart about this and maybe even make some sacrifices let some things go something that you need to trim the fat on your finances here you're trying to do over and above and you need to kind of scale it back yeah you're gonna have to go from one dynamic to another i don't know if you were taking care of somebody Maybe the mother, mother is coming up again, mother energy, but it's going to go from one dynamic to the next. So I was taking care of you. Now I'm not. 
I was putting you on a pedestal. Now I'm not. I was giving you two thousand dollars every week. Now I can only give you five hundred. Yeah, it's like you you are carrying something for a very long time. You got to release that. That is your energy, Sag. Look at the long term and take the leadership role here. Maintain balance. Take the middle ground in your finances and whatever it is you're doing. You've got some dreams, but you need to maybe put them on a larger platform or go to somebody that has a large platform. Uh, streaming is what I'm hearing. I don't know. It looks like you'll get a yes answer, but it's with other people's money. So maybe you need other people's money or you need other people's platform or you need something. But whatever the yes answer is, you get a yes you get the opportunity to celebrate because there's creation happening now. You got to be motivated and directed. And every idea you get, you need to write it down. Because it is coming from the heavens. This is taking center stage. This is internet. This is lots of people watching you. This is people following you. This is long-term uh, stability. Yeah. So it's, it's like you have a project you need to bring into fruition. Do not procrastinate. You didn't have a procrastination card, but it's like more so an energy of you being scattered and all over the place and trying to make sure everybody's taken care of and make sure that this is that and they're getting this and they're getting that. Therefore, you're putting yourself out and putting everybody else in. You know, it's like you getting out of the car and then you tell everybody to get in the car. And then you're out of the car and the car is, is moving. You're just stuck there. So uh, keep that in mind, Sag. Um, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.